Multiplier Events In order to record any planned multiplier events, click Multiplier Events in the left side menu. Before you can enter information on multiplier events, you must answer the question Do you plan to include multiplier events in your project using the available drop down list? Please note that this drop down list is automatically set to No if in the context section of your application you selected Exchange of Good Practices as the main objective of your project. In that case, no further action is required in this part of your application. You can apply for grant support for multiplier events only if the project intends to produce intellectual outputs. Other dissemination activities will be supported under the grant menu items Management and Implementation. Selecting Yes will open a list of multiplier events where you can enter all the details. Selecting No means no further action is required in this part of the application. You can proceed to the next step of your application. After choosing Yes in the drop-down list, a list of multiplier events opens with the first row empty. Click the menu button and select Details or click the dotted line to access the specific details screen. The Multiplier Events Details screen opens, consisting of Multiplier Events Details and Multiplier Event Budget. Add the title of your event, choose a country where the event will take place, choose the start and end dates and describe the event. Make sure you mention objectives of this event. Describe how it will contribute to your general dissemination strategy and how it will ensure wider use of your project's intellectual output. Or perhaps it will help with the sustainability aspect once the project is over. Then choose which intellectual output or several outputs are covered by this event. Select which partner organization will be the leading one and which other partner organizations will be involved in organizing the event. At the bottom of the screen, you should provide the multiplier event budget information. Click the Add button to enter the first budget information. At first, select Organization. A drop-down list will display organizations added as the activity leading organization or participating organizations. Then define the number of local participants from the country where the event takes place and the number of foreign participants. You will notice that the grant fields will populate automatically based on your numbers. You will get a lump sum equal to 100 euros for a local participant and 200 euros for an international participant. This is how a budget for multiplier events is formed and you are free to decide what costs you need to cover. However, they must be directly linked to the multiplier event. Click the Add button below the list to add the next multiplier event. Provide all information as you did with the first multiplier event and repeat the same for all the multiplier events you plan. Please note that the maximum total budget for multiplier events is €30,000 per project. If your budget for the multiplier events entered exceeds this limit, you will get a warning, saying the total grant requested for multiplier events cannot exceed a maximum of €30,000 per project. In such a case, you will have to adjust your multiplier events to reduce your budget total. Adding or deleting new details works the same as in other web application parts by clicking the menu button next to the event and selecting Details or Delete. Learning Teaching Training Activities Click Learning Teaching Training in the side menu to open the Learning Teaching Training screen. Before adding any details, you must answer the question Do you plan to include transnational learning, teaching or training activities in your project? Choose Yes from the drop-down list if you plan such activities. Selecting Yes will open a list of learning, teaching and training activities where you can add all the details. If you select No, no further action is required in this section of the application and you can continue to the next section. If you answered the initial question with Yes, you can now start entering the learning, teaching or training activities you have planned. This part of the application consists of two parts, list of activities and background information. Start providing information in the list of activities table. The first row, C1, is empty. Click the menu button or grey dots next to the exclamation mark to open a section for describing the activity. This part consists of two sections, activity details and flows. Provide all mandatory information in the activity details section, indicated in red. At first, choose the field of youth from the drop-down list. Then the activity type section will populate automatically. Choose from the options presented. Drop down to select the type of activity. In this example, we choose a short-term joint staff training event. Next, 
Add Activity Title and Add Activity Description. This section, as most of the free text sections, has a limit of 5,000 characters with spaces. Make sure you include all the key aspects required for this part. Profile of your event participants from each organization, specific objectives, expected results and methodology. Mention what the added value of this training activity is for your project's success and how it is linked to your intellectual outputs, if relevant. Then choose the leading organization and participating organizations from the drop-down list. Define the duration of your event. If you choose a short-term activity, the duration is provided in days. If you choose long-term mobility, it will be in months. And finally, choose a country where your event will take place. Once the information has been entered, all the fields are marked green. In the Flows section of your screen, click the Menu button and select Details or in the ID column, click 1. Here, you must provide information on each flow related to the specific activity. On top of the screen, you will always see the flow number and the activity ID the flow belongs to. Then add information on the following items. Organization or country. A drop-down list to select from the list of organizations added to the activity. Country of venue. Automatically populated from the previous section where you identified the country. Number of participants and accompanying persons. Enter the number of participants and accompanying persons. Accompanying persons are eligible only if you plan involving participants with disabilities. Total number of participants and accompanying persons are automatically calculated. The checkbox under Exceptional Costs for Expensive Travel is not ticked by default. No information should be entered if you do not require this type of funding. However, if you do need to apply for such costs, check the box and provide the following details. Number of participants eligible for such exceptional costs. By default, the number of participants is filled in, but, if needed, can be adjusted. Description and justification for the request of these costs. The grant requested, which can be up to 80% of eligible costs. Add individual support for the flow, if applicable. In this section, provide all necessary information on the individual support needed. As in other sections of the flow, some details are pre-filled, but can be edited. The information to provide in this section is Number of participants requiring an individual support grant, excluding accompanying persons, duration per participant in days or months, depending on whether it is a short-term or long-term activity. Grant per participant and total for participants are calculated automatically. Number of accompanying persons requiring the individual support grant, Duration per accompanying person in days. Grant per accompanying person and total for accompanying persons are calculated automatically. Total individual support grant is calculated using the totals for the participants and accompanying persons entered. Add linguistic support for the flow. Linguistic support is only available for long-term activities and not eligible for accompanying persons. This covers costs linked to the support offered to participants to improve their knowledge of the language or instruction of work. The number of participants in need of such support is pre-filled and can be updated according to your needs. The grant per participants and total linguistic support grant are automatically calculated. If all the information has been entered correctly, you will see green checks in front of the flow sections in the top navigation. Go back to the activity details. If you need to add more flows to the activity, click the Add button below the list of flows and a new empty row becomes available. Select Details via the Menu button or click the dotted line. Provide details for a new flow as explained before. If you need to add additional activities, go back to the Learning, Teaching or Training Activities screen either via the side menu or the menu on top. You will notice a green check in the list of learning, teaching, training activities next to the activity you have just entered in the application. Click the Add button under the table of activities to add another activity. Select Details via the Menu button or click the dotted line to open the Activity Details screen for a new activity. Editing and deleting activities work the same as in other sections explained before. Once all the fields have been filled in, the Learning Teaching Training section in the side navigation is marked with a green check.